Good morning. Right, let's get on with these friend pyjamas. So I am using this lovely 100% cotton from Movie Star Society. It's called Winter Glow and it's covered in these really cute forest animals. So I thought that would be cute for a pair of wintry pyjamas. This fabric's quite narrow, it's 112 centimetres wide and I had two and a half metres um, for the, the bottoms. I've got two pieces, one's two and a half metres and one's two. Long story. I bought some, didn't know what I was going to do with it, then decided I was going to make pyjamas and bought another section. So the instructions tell me that I need 2.7 for the bottoms in a size small and I've managed to squeeze it out of 2.5 with a few scraps remaining. The top might be a bit more tricky. I've only got two metres and the instructions tell me I need three. So we'll see how I get on. Um, yeah, wish me luck. Right, bottoms are finished. Um, they took me about four hours, which is longer than I expected, but there's a few sort of little extra details in these that make that extra time worth it, I think. Um, I'm very happy with them. The size small is perfect. Uh, also, the hemming instructions are perfect. It told you to hem... Sorry, that's Frank having a roll around. It told you to hem up by half an inch and then by three inches, and that is absolutely perfect for me. I think I'm about five foot four, five foot five, and they are just sort of almost skimming the floor when I'm standing up. So, yeah, absolutely perfect. It's half past one. Um, I'm going to have some lunch and a cup of tea and then crack on with the top. Oh, I've just remembered. I haven't actually stuck the PDF together for the top yet. That's a bit annoying. Right, okay. I'll have a cup of tea, have some lunch, stick the PDF together for the top, and then see how I feel. I might get some done this afternoon and then finish them tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. Right, it's about two weeks later. I finally made a start on the top. Um, yeah, I've not had much motivation the last couple of weeks to get sewing, so these have been uh, shouting at me to get on with them. So I finally made a start. I've got the front, two fronts um, attached. It's quite difficult to see because it's an odd shape at the moment. But I've got the fronts here. This will be where the buttons go. I've got the front facing here, and I've attached the collar piece there. So there's no collar stand on here. Sorry, my um, my laptop's beeping. There's no collar stand; it just goes straight onto um, the actual bodice. So that's um, that's quite nice. It, you miss out that uh, potentially tricky bit. But I am now at a tricky bit that's got me a bit stumped. The next step in the instructions says: secure inner yoke in place by matching shoulder seam to outer yoke seam and stitching together from arm side to facing. So, inner, this is the inner yoke. Matching shoulder seam to the outer yoke. Right, okay, okay. And stitch together from arm side to facing. So that makes sense. I think I've got to match these bits here. This is the inner facing and the outer facing. From reading the instructions, it seems like I've got to match those up. 
and stitch from here maybe to here or even all the way up but on the picture it's showing that you do something on the inside I'll pop a picture in of this step in the instructions here because it doesn't it's probably me it's probably my uh, having a bit of brain fog moment but I can't relate the instructions to the image right I'm going to give it a shot and see how it turns out <laughs> right, I'll keep you posted right I think I've got it so I have matched the facings sort of right sides together so I've got one facing here and then the bodice part and then one facing folded over on the back it's really hard to explain so I'm sorry if this isn't making any sense but I think this is what the picture is showing me in the instructions so I'm going to sew from the arm side here along to about here which is where the facing starts and that's the facing um, that comes along the inside of the shirt front opening so the button placket facing so if that's not it I don't know what it means so I'm going to try this Right, I'm hoping you can see this okay. I know you can't see me, but I've got I've got to the burrito section. And because I'm making this in cotton, I've got quite a big fat <laughs> burrito here. So um, I've got to sew this together at five eighths of an inch. And it's really tricky to make sure I'm not catching anything inside the, uh, the sausage. <laughs> So, um, yeah, if you make these and you get to this section, when you roll it up, just make sure you roll it up like as tightly as you can. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, sausage sewn together. If I don't catch anything in the middle of this, it will be a miracle. Right, moment of truth. I've got to the end. Hmm. If I pull this through, and it, there's got, and something's caught, how am I going to get it back in to the burrito to undo it? That's a, that's a conundrum, isn't it? snip the threads and then just pull it through and see what happens. Sorry, you're probably just looking at my arms right now, aren't you? <laughs> Sorry about that. Move you. Yeah, right. There we go. Here's my uh, burrito. Looks a bit more like a bit of fat sausage. But It's not coming out very easily. I don't know if that's just because of the there's so much fabric in there or because I've got something caught. Um, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, hold on. I've got movement. <gasps> Here we go. I think it worked. Ta da! We have birthed a Fran shirt. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm really happy with that. I can't believe I didn't catch anything in that seam. That's excellent.
Excellent. Okay, so you can see now that there's a, hopefully you can see, there's a pleat on the back. Give you a bit more uh, room for movement. Right, okay, let's crack on with the next bit. Right, I'm on the sleeves now. Um, so I have attached the sleeve cuffs to the bottom of the sleeve. There's a join across here, which is a bit tricky to see in this fabric, but it is there. And then on the reverse of the cuff, it sort of folds up. Hold on. So imagine this is the bottom of the cuff here, it folds up. And then I imagine I will top stitch this around in place when the sleeve is finished. Um, so I have sewn basting stitches across the top to gather it in and I was fully expecting to sew up the sleeve and then set it into the sleeve head but no, these sleeves go in flat um, a bit like if you were sewing a t-shirt or a jumper so that's interesting, I don't think I've ever done that with woven fabric before um, yeah, I quite like it right, my sleeves are in um, I changed my mind. I said I quite like the fact that I was going to sew them in flat. I didn't like it. <laughs> I got. I ended up with lots of little uh, creases, so I had to do a bit of unpicking. But they are now in and in to my satisfaction. So that's all right. I'm getting close now. All I have to do now is sew up, up the side and along the sleeve see that. <laughs> uh, finish the cuffs off and then at the bottom of the side seams there's a little split hem detail. So I've got to do that and then I think it will be onto the buttons. Oh I am tired this is quite an involved make. Um, yeah I'm getting a bit tired. I might do I'll sew up the side seams and then see how I feel whether I want to keep going or save it and finish it tomorrow. We shall see. Okay, they're finished. Absolutely love them. I don't want to take them off. <laughs> I really, really like these pyjamas. They're fantastic. Um, so, trousers. I made the trousers first. Um, I pretty much followed the instructions. I didn't make any tweaks to the pattern apart from leaving out the side seam pockets and adding an extra back patch pocket. So I've got two patch pockets at the back. Um, the only thing I did differently was the construction. Um, I used the typical method that I've used before to make pyjama bottoms where you sew up both legs, put one inside the other, sew the crotch seam um, and pull them inside out and then basically you've got your pyjamas. Um, method in the instructions was slightly different but I just went with that method because it works for me and I've done it before. The other thing I did differently was I did not thread the drawstring all the way through the waist seam, I just did a faux drawstring just at the front. Um, obviously the elastic goes all the way around but the drawstring is just at the front and that's absolutely fine with me, the drawstring is just for aesthetic purposes really you've got the elastic in there so that works for me um, with the top I pretty much did it exactly as per the instructions um, so yeah it's gorgeous I cannot tell you how much I love it it's just awesome um, I bought these buttons recently when I went to Guthrie Garney I didn't actually think about this fabric while I was buying them but I'm really sorry Frank's down here he's chatting to you as well um, I didn't think about these when I was buying them, but it, it goes perfectly. So yeah, I'm really happy with how they go. Um, what can I say? It was a tough make. Um, not the bottom so much, but the top. Uh, yeah, I had to spread it out, as you will have seen in the video, over a couple of weeks um, and take lots of breaks because it was quite draining physically and mentally this make but I'm really really pleased now that it's done. I'll pop some pictures in up here so that you can see um, the full length images but highly highly recommend it, it's a gorgeous pattern. I will definitely make some more versions 
um, probably in cotton again actually because it's so comfortable um, you know it's, it's lightweight but it's warm and yeah just beautiful so closet core brand pajamas get a massive thumbs up from me and if you're thinking about making it don't hesitate um, yeah I really recommend it if you've got any questions or any suggestions or you've made it and you want to let me know what you think please pop it in the comments below um, and yeah thank you as always for watching and I will see you again very soon bye